don't think there's anything more beautiful than like stepping into ice rink when it's completely empty. <laughs> when asked, I think for my best achievements in skating, I think definitely one of the highlights was um, I medaled at Junior Worlds one year as a pair skater, so that meant at the junior level we were the third best team in the world. And then I competed singles and pairs for many years for the U.S. So I'd be competing internationally in singles and pairs, running multiple, multiple programs. I was actually the only skater at the time doing that in the world. And then um, my last season, I actually went and did a competition for, I represented Chinese Taipei, which is Taiwan, and I became their national champion. I think some of the best stuff is the amount of travel that um, we both got to experience. Yeah, that's um, amazing, yeah. actually. Going, I did a lot of Eastern Europe. I went to Russia two times. I went to the former Yugoslavia three separate times. So just amazing trips, amazing travel, amazing people that I got to meet through my experiences in the sport. It's considered a sport. It's an Olympic sport, but there's so much artistry to it. We've known each other for years. We went to our first nationals together in 2000 one, so yes, it's which been, was in Boston. Yes, so it's been 10 years now. We actually never competed with each other, we competed against each other. We both have just a lot of experience with pair skating, um, so it came very natural for us. Like, I kind of, just from so many years of skating pairs, I just kind of can feel what she's about to do. Um, but with, with some people, you, you try to Try like have an audition together or try out and you're just like their not timing's way over here, <laughs> your timing's way over there and it's just like, it's not working. All lifts start off the ice to kind of get used to timing and um, feeling out the lifts and the positions and then we take them onto the ice. You always have to be on the safer side when it comes to lifting a girl over your head and <laughs> soaring down the ice and turning. Like, Luckily yes. I think you've got some big muscles there. So. <laughs> The next element we're going to do is a side star. And it's also called a plaza. And I'm completely unassisted except for his one arm. Our first element is going to be a throw south half. Make sure you get out of her way and don't disrupt her too much from what she would normally do on her own jump. She's just gonna get a little more elevation into the air, a little more flow. And when he says like a little elevation, it's actually yeah, a, it's lot a lot of elevation because I could never jump that high on my own. So it's probably about like two to three times as big as what I would do on my own. I think both of us had that dream of, you know, going to the Olympics, and maybe it's not totally <laughs> dismissed yet, but we've kind of veered off a different path and are exploring different aspects of skating right now, yeah. but you never know what could happen. Baby, you're free, something. Say, let me up, you're so sweet, you're